So, you want to make a little wave, but you don't know how to surfboard. Listen, it's going to be okay. We can just use our water bending abilities. Hey guys, I'm at the... Well, huh? Welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again, taking a look at how to make a little wave. A little wave motion graphic animation kind of thing. It's really cool. Um, I love do doing motion graphics on the channel. You guys always love motion graphics. Anyway, I figured this is a great time to um, continue the this, this series. The series of the motion graphics, you know? Um, so, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and the first thing is it, we're going to drag a box over top of everything in our scene and hit delete. We don't need any of it. Hit shift A and search for a plane. This plane, we're going to hit R, X, and then our numpad on the uh, numbers on the right hand side of the uh, keyboard. Hit 9 and then 0 to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis um, and then hit enter to confirm that. Now we, hit, we can hit um, S to scale this up a little bit. And then an SX to scale this on the X axis. So make it a little bit longer um, lengthwise like this. Nice. Left click to confirm that. And now what we need to do is a couple of things actually. So we could do a, we could do this a few different ways. So we can add in a modifier and hit add modifier. And we can put literally the wave modifier on this. But if we hit play, you can see that it kind of moves like weird because we don't have any subdivisions on it. So let's go ahead and pause that. Hit tab. To go into edit mode and then we can right click this and it's subdivide now before we do this you can see that the, it creates four rectangles and i want these to be more square like so the way we fix that is we hit Control z to undo that and then go over here and select loop cut now if we grab loop cut you can see we put one uh, in the middle up and down and you see it makes it a little bit more square like so we're going to add another one here so one there and one more right there so now if we go ahead and um, put one in the center. You can see that if we were to do that, now we have more squares. It looks more square-like instead of rectangles. Um, we can go ahead and go back to the select box up at the top. There you go, nice. Hit the left click and drag over top of everything to select it all. And then we can right click subdivide once again. And as you can see, they're much more square-like instead of rectangle-like. So that's much, much better. Now, if we hit play, you can see that now, hit, actually hit tab to go back out of edit mode. Tab once again to go out of edit mode. If we hit play, you can see that now we have an actual wave thing going on, but I don't want it to go up and down. I want it to go like the different direction. So we, <laughs> we can fix this in a couple ways. If we rotate the, oh, no, not that way. If we, if we rotate this like this and then move it up, you can see that it fixes itself. So if we go ahead again, so I can, so you can see what I've done. If we hit tab to go back in edit mode and then we can pause this, hit R X and then 90. To rotate that this way and then hit tab to go back out of edit mode you can see that when we play this it's now like waving this direction which looks really really cool um but to fix it now because it's laying down we can hit out of edit mode we can hit rx 90 and then now you can see it's back where it belongs up and down which is very very cool now you can see we can mess around with this little wave um modifier a little bit we can make it a little less or a little more um i'm gonna make it a little bit um make it a little bit more Maybe a little, maybe a little faster, rather. Turn the narrowness up so it's a little smoother. Um, make sure that we have um, the time. You can turn the time up so you can make the speed go faster, um, and you can make the height a little bit a little bit taller as well. Um, but I don't want to be I don't want to be too fast. So let's make it a little bit slower. Maybe a little bit. Maybe maybe actually maybe I do like it sharp like that. That was kind of cool. That was really cool actually. All right, so that's a little bit how you do that. There you go, which is pretty cool stuff. Um, let's take a look at maybe a little bit of nope, not that. Put that back the way that. Where was it? Uh, I think the default is ten. Yeah, there you go, ten. I have the speed on point eighteen. Um, the narrowness. We can change the narrowness probably a little bit. Things coming from the center, which is not necessarily what you might want sometimes. So I I I, I didn't think about that. I, I apologize. <laughs> Let's get this thing uh, cracking. Now you can see we have the start position here, which is really cool, and that's how you change um, the uh, where the wave comes from essentially. So you can see you can change it to negative 0.4, and then the wave will come from the left hand side, and it looks really really cool. You can also, like I said, once again, change the narrowness. You can change the um, the width. You can change it up. You can move it down change the height you know so things are a little softer i think this looks really cool like it has a little arc to it like a little woo, 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 like a little you know a little timing to it i think it looks really 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 cool and now that we have this little uh this cool little wave thing here you can see that uh if we really really wanted to we could we could duplicate this by clicking it and then uh hitting shift d to duplicate it 
Then at GY, move it back behind the other blue plane. Add this little uh, material modifier, as you can see right here. Hit this little button. Hit this little blue, it's little three three colors to change it to the three numbered hit change the color, sorry. We'll change this to darker, I guess. We'll name it darker. We'll name the first one blue, just so we know what it is. Um, and then we will go ahead and make this blue, as you guessed, a darker blue. Change, uh, put a little bit more blue in it and make it a little darker. And we will go ahead and now, instead of having the same animation, we'll go back to the modifier tab. And then we can go ahead and change the offset if we really wanted to. So let's go ahead and change the offset to maybe point, oh, let me not point, but we'll just do. Um, let's, let's do something crazy like 27 or something. So like, it's, it looks like choppy C's or actually maybe negative. What am I saying? I don't, I don't really want it to be like together. So that looks pretty good. We'll also go ahead and move the, the lighter blue down a little bit like this. So you can see more of the other blue. Um, and then we will go ahead and maybe turn the height down because the height is, is a bit tall now, actually. Um, hmm. Why is this? Oh, we're in edit mode. That's why. I was like, what? Why is it? Why is it not moving? All right. Maybe something like that. And then turn the width up. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, that, that looks a little bit better. All right, nice. Let's actually just do, do this all again. Move it up. Um, change this one to darker and then we'll go ahead move that one down and then grab this change the offset to something crazy there we go nice okay so now we can see it, it looks like this which just looks really good um, it looks like an actual like ocean kind of thing going on here the first one is stopping a bit before I wanted it to like it's not really starting with the um, animation, so let's go ahead and fix it. There we go. And I want to do maybe one more color here. So let's do a darker, an even darker. Move it up a little bit, I guess. Um, and then we'll hit this little four, and we'll call this darkest. There you go. Nice. Now I'm going to change this to once again a dark, darker shade of blue, and we're going to darken it up a little bit. Um, there we go. And as you can see, it matches the one in the back, so I don't want that. So let's go ahead and go to the offset and change the offset once again. So now you can see we have. Something looks a little bit more um, singular instead of all together like that, which looks really cool. So that is our um, motion graphic water, I guess, as it were, our waves or whatever you want to call it. Um, we can zoom it in a little bit here and take a look at that. It looks really cool. You just imagine, imagine like a little tiny tugboat on that or something. Really, really cool. Um, let your mind go crazy. Let, mind, let your mind go wild. I might want to make one of these slower. Turn the speed down a little bit, you know, turn the little speedy speed down. On that a little bit just a little tiny bit you know nothing nothing crazy nothing crazy maybe 0.9 for the print 11 maybe there we go i feel like the, the water in the in the back further out the sea would be more rough anyway you know what i mean the, the water up at the at the shore is never as rough as the the ocean water you know what i mean so yeah that works out really really well hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it um, this is actually wild. This is one of the like cutest things I think we've made. I, I really like the way that it, that it came out. Actually, I'm gonna make the sky like a light bluish, like a light light bluish like that. I, is it me or do I still see yellow down here? I'm tripping. Anyway, um, <laughs> I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.